Hey, and it's the Code of Noob coming at you again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set a cap on your string. So I know uh, you might be working with maybe a database where you're trying to save the player's name and profile picture or something to your database along with their score and stuff like that. And in some cases, the player's name, uh, the player's name alone, especially if you're pulling like a Facebook name or something like that those names could be long or maybe you give them an option to enter their name that you're going to save the uh, save the uh, score with and you want to set a maximum cap a lot of database will use a default value of like 25 so um, what I'm going to show you is a great way to do this and you'll be able to control that maximum size yourself in this uh, in this example though I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stick with that 25 default all right so uh, nothing special here I just have a unity open and don't mind these two scripts those are from leftover tutorials and I won't be um, touching these at all and then all I have here is a simple scene with a uh, a camera and nothing else the camera is using a skybox and switch it to a solid and then maybe a nice color here something warm Yes. All right. So let's start off with this script. Let's do it. And this will be. I'm just gonna call mine "fix my string." All right. I'm just gonna double click it here to open it up in my Visual Studio. It's gonna be a really quick video. I for this example, I'm not going to use the update function at all. And let's create a string that we'll use for the username. I know I said username, but this will be whatever string is that uh, you might be getting. Could be, could be that you're using like a Facebook SDK and you're pulling the user's um, name, or um, you have a text field where you're asking them to enter a value. Let's pretend that this is it, okay? I'm gonna call this long string. Can't spell. And then just a quick debug. And what are we gonna log in here? We're just gonna log that long string. Well, you know what? Let me make a public. Um, method here C yeah C string right <laughs> that sounds wrong put it in there and I'm even gonna get rid of this so I'm just gonna use a button to do this okay so let me save back to unity 3d compile the script the script is great I am simply going to create a empty object um, just gonna call it uh, <laughs> object OJP OBJ and drop the script on it why not and then let's just get a simple button to trigger that functionality that we made. Buttons there. Use the on click method. Drag your object in here. Now we should have access to that C um, button. So inside the fix my string, we should have opt options to the C string um, function that we declared, which because it was public. And that's how. I know this, but this uh, tutorial is not about how to set up a button, but that's pretty much how you do it. Create the UI, go in your on-click method, drag, drag the object that has a script on it, make sure the method is public, and just tie it in right here. Select the script, tie it in. So, <clears throat> on the object now, if I type a couple of stuff, play the game, when I click this button, we should have a debug that logs exactly what I just typed. And here it is. 
Let me bring it this way so you can see it better. I'll click again. Okay. So I brought my console log over. Here it is. So I type some random text in here. Console log should spit out the information. So once I play the game and click the button, boom, it shows us the exact same name. All right, now let's make this shorter. I will use a function that does that. It's going to be return function. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to make one of those. So I'm going to make mine private because I won't be using it anywhere outside the script. Private. And then the data type we're going to return, which is string, if I could spell it right. And then um, let's just say check lent would be the name of it. Now, um, what we could say is string, we can say fixed string, right? And then after we do our calculation, we're going to just return fixed string. I just got to do my calculations in here. So this. right so uh, this is just a return um, method let's turn this into a getter I'm gonna turn this into two types of methods but just use one method so even though it's a return type it's also gonna be a getter type so string X right so at the same time that I'm sending the variable X I'll be returning exactly what I need. Sounds good? So let's do the little calculation here. It's really easy to do, really. Um, what it is, is you would say the fixed string now equals x. Kind of like that. And the built-in functionality is called substring. So instead of just x, I say x dot substring. That means subtract the string from basically the start and index. So you see where it says int start index to the zero position, so the first letter, and then the maximum length that you need. In my case, I'm going to say 25. So I've just cut the string down to 25 and then return it back. So now in my debug.log, and this is how you would use it, you would simply call check string or I'm sorry check lent and pass in the string that you want so long string and that's it so if you were to use this or save it to some sort of database your string name would be this I just commented out but this is a string. It's the getter variable with the setter and all in one. Okay? So with that, I'll save and let's head back to Unity. And uh, if you wanted to cut yours uh, less than 25, you just got to change this value right here. Unity will compile. Ooh, got a text. And it's done compiling. So now let's just make sure that this is more than 24, uh, 25. So we'll say this string is more than 25 in length. I am, I am sure about that. <laughs> So you see how long that is, right? Let's go ahead and hit play now. And once I click the button, boom. So it's taken our long string and cut it down to 25. If you count this, it's exactly 25. Let's make it shorter just as a test. Instead of 25, let's make it 5. And back to Unity. 
right, it's done compiling. Hit play. And boom. So now it's just five. One, two, three, four, five. This. <laughs> All right, guys, this is Code and Noob. This was just a quick, simple tutorial on how to set a maximum range on your string. This is very handy for uh, anytime you're saving values to database or capturing uh, user names for maybe a leaderboard. Sometimes it gets too long and it won't fit. So I hope this helped you or someone else out there. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up, right? Also, just as a disclaimer, because I say it in all my videos, subscribe so that when you comment, uh, you can leave a request what you like to see next. And usually I read all the comments and then I check if you're a subscriber and that kind of give you like a priority, you know? Little things, okay? Have a good one, guys. Take it easy.